If I am sideways on your screen, I apologize. I'm just learning this Facebook stuff. So um, this one won't leave me alone. I'm out walking with one of my dogs on a place called Applejack Trail or something. I can't remember their names anymore. So this one won't leave me alone. Uh, I tried to use the selfie stick. Thank you. Whoever sent that to me, you know who you are. The title of this is Incognito Awakening or Incognito Enlightenment. It's Bentley down the trail, if you can see him. Some of the beautiful mountains around here. It's obviously amazing. I want a refund, God. I hate my assignment. I want to stand at my incarnational briefing and go... No, I don't want that anymore. God, I'm so fucking lucky to do this shit. But I'm not only lucky, I worked at it. I did those shitty jobs. Not that you have to. You can go right to enjoyment and ease if you want to. Anyway, I, on your path, you're going to have to say no to the temptations and sometimes just struggle through the old programs. It's part of the deal. It's going to suck. The awakening is going to suck at times, just telling you. So, not to be negative, but incognito enlightenment is walking through the world. Hang on, I'm going to have to stop this for a sec. Huh, that's funny. Hey guys, how are you? Watch out for the big dog. All right, so me and Bentley will continue down the path. Incognito enlightenment, incognito awakening. Look at this stuff. It's just art pieces. Are you kidding me? 200-year-old trees, just they're, they're art pieces. Human, natural, not human, nature's art is unbelievable. This particular trail is full of trees that will just stop you in your tracks. By the way, I am making a promise to myself that this next year, 2017, we're going to do at least three, maybe four retreats in Sedona. If you're interested, put it on your thought calendar. Back to the topic. So, you do not have to make a display. You do not have to get robes. You do not have to do a thing and announce to the world that you're going to go through an awakening and an enlightenment. In fact, there are thousands of souls, more than that, tens of thousands, that have awoken on earth incognito. Their minds, the minds of others around them have not noticed. You can do it privately. In fact, you're going to have to do part of it incognito so that the ego mind doesn't notice what you're doing. You're going to have to. So you can drop it into your spinal column, get the divine medicine dropper, use images for your subconscious. Your subconscious feels and sees images better than words. So you can drop into your spinal column, ah, I'm going to slide unnoticed by the world around me, except those with eyes to see and ears to hear, who are already on their own awakening, I'm going to have a nice sliding into home, enjoying my awakening. Incognito means not noticed by cognition, not noticed by the inquiring mind. That's like a mouse whose nose is going the whole time. Inquiring minds read the inquirer. <laughs> the cataloging mind that wants to know everything. I'm going to stop. I know I'm a little bouncy. So, incognito awakening, unnoticed, even by your own mind. Drop it in. Drop it in. You are an absorber, absorber, imbiber of concepts. 
or a creator, but you can borrow them too. I'm offering one that you can borrow. Incognito enlightenment. My parents don't have to know. My friends don't have to know. In fact, part of it, you're going to have to let them not know. You're going to have to keep your mouth shut. All that blabbing about, oh, what, I had a spiritual experience. I had this vision last night. Oh, my God, the coincidences are unbelievable. Blah, 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 blah. All that shit's fine. But after a while, you're going to have to let that go maybe too. You can do it publicly. You can do public awakening. But you can also do it. A lot of us don't really want that. We don't want, want big show and drama. You can do incognito awakening. Incognito enlightenment. It gets more and more pleasurable. The last three days for me was like, I'm in fucking ecstasy. How could this get any better? And then the mind's right there going, what's going on? What's happening? Is this evil? Could this be dangerous? Are you losing your grip, Tobias? Yes, I am. I'm loosening my grip. I'm letting the grip of my mind ego let loosen. Why? Because I enjoy it. It feels great. So you can do it that way. Incognito enlightenment. It's awesome. And even someone like me, I'm doing it kind of publicly. You know, I'm putting my face out there, which I often ask myself, what for? This is a little crazy, you know. Anyhow, so you, there is a way to slide through the world unnoticed. I do. I love it. It's camouflage as well. True masters are masters of camouflage. They are all forms and no forms. Hello, Mr. Trump follower. How you doing? They find common ground. I found love and common ground with a fucking neo-Nazi white supremacist at the local... Just because of the way I look, probably, right? <laughs> I know. And God was whispering in my ear. I go, God, I got to get away from this guy. He started talking about the Muslim mosque that is local and we probably need to go bomb it. He didn't quite say that, but it was right there. And I was like, God, I got to get away from this guy. And God said to me, just stop. Can you feel love for him? And I said, and God was saying, Spirit, you know, my own inner voice, your own inner voice. Can you feel love for him as a human, as a being, as an aspect of the Tao? And I'm not faking it. I said, well, I don't feel love for his stuff. That's kind of freaking me out. But, I, but, I, but God, then the Spirit said, feel your belly. I love this background. <laughs> I said, it feels good. Spirit said, just be with that. Offer that space to him. Just hold that space. The guy ended up like wanting to be friends and, oh, we have a house in Sedona too. We should get together. And my little inside voice said, uh, you have no clue, man. <laughs> you know, you have no clue. If I told you what I'm into, you'd freak out. But you can always find common ground. So I was being incognito and Spirit was rewarding me with bliss because spirit wanted to hold space for that being who was very fearful. And spirit actually told me, compare it how you felt this morning at Yogananda's meditation down on Central Avenue in Phoenix. And I actually had to say, I feel better now. It feels better. It feels more pleasurable. And spirit said, that's the mysterious ways. There you are in the most enlightened teaching on the planet, Yogananda stuff, and you're all gathering and meditating together. And it kind of felt mental, right? Or a little icky or, you know, people aren't being able to be that genuine and open with each other. I go, yeah. How does it feel now? This crazy white supremacist guy, he's actually, I'm having more God exchange with him than I did that morning. It's mysterious. It's incognito. Let that start coming to you. So incognito enlightenment, meaning outside the rules, you know. That's why it gets stale and boring at the super-duper spiritual center where we all drink our green smoothies and carry our yoga mats around because it's too fucking regulated. Let spirit be mysterious with you. Wake up in the morning and go, all right, I make myself available if you want to. Some days I'm like, ah, I don't want any interaction. I just want to be private. That's fine too. But make yourself available to the mystery. Incognito. Bypass 
the categorizing mind that thinks it knows what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've had that spiritual experience too. It's interesting when that happens on the path. Yeah, I've been there. <clears throat> That's super ego. When you're like, oh, yeah. See, spiritual egoism is the biggest trap. So you're even going to have to incognito yourself. You're going to have to bypass your own mind and drop into sensing, feeling, being with a mystery. Anyway, I'm not sure I did this justice. It's not exactly what wanted to come, but I think it worked. All right, Bentley and I are going to keep walking, and I won't subject you to the crazy me bouncing along. BB, is you ready? B, you ready to go for a little further? You want to? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. We actually ran into a coyote here. I got film of the coyote. Bentley went and found his sleeping place and woke the coyote up. And it was so funny to watch. The coyote was pissed. And Bentley's just like, ha. Ah. He, w- he wasn't barking, nothing. It's very interesting. Much love. More later. If I can figure out, as usual, how to shut this off. Ah, there's the finish button. All right, see you later.